imagine you're walking home with your friends. You're feeling free, you're having a good time, laughing. You finally get home. And just when you're about to turn the key into the doorknob, it hits you. You wake up in a hut surrounded by 20 to 30 girls. Some man comes in and makes you his own. You become marked. You become one of them. You become a prostitute. In Thailand, girls as young as 10 are forced to have sex with 20 to 30 men per day. Children are susceptible to infertility problems, pregnancy problems, STDs, and depression. Sex trafficking makes an annual profit of 31 to 91 billion dollars. Human trafficking is the illegal trade of human beings mainly for the purposes of commercial sexual exploitation or forced labor. Enslaved in a shrine in her native Ghana as a young child under a custom known as Chikosi, she was forced to work without pay, without food or clothing, and to perform sexual services for a holy man called the fetish priest. She was able to escape 17 years later after several failed attempts at the age of 23. Chikosi comes from the ill word meaning slave of the gods and is understood as a religious and cultural practice in which young girls, mostly virgins, are sent into a lifelong servitude to atone for the alleged crimes of their relatives. There are more women who remain in the shrine who need help. No one is going to represent them better than someone who has been in the shrine and who has gone through the pain. Against all odds, I decided to take the responsibility of addressing the issue and have been done ever since. You have a lot of pimps that have like 15, 20 girls on uh, under, under them and they never revolt. Why? Because they drugged up. Yeah, like they scared. They don't know like what's going on around them because yeah, they're drugged up and mm -hmm. plus they don't know how to escape. They don't know how to like leave. That's their only way of life. They don't know what else is outside of that. So trafficking is corrupt, but some parts of the government is as well, as I said before. Like sometimes they have people in government who are in this industry, so they want some money too. So. Um, I like to refer to slavery as the Hydra. I don't know if you're familiar with Greek mythology at all, but uh, the Hydra was uh, um, a nine-headed monster. Um, but the problem was, whenever he chopped one head off, two grew back in his place. So you chop the head off of slavery and um, poverty and joblessness suddenly appear. You chop the head off of poverty and then suddenly you're seeing HIV and, um, you know, lack of access to health care appear. And it doesn't seem to end. And the only way Heracles was able to kill the Hydra, um, unlike any of his other... Um, acts of bravery was with the help of his friend and so I think we need to call up people that are addressing poverty, we need to call up people that are addressing politics, we need to call up people that are addressing um, clean water, we need to call up people who are you know addressing all these other kinds of issues and realize wow we, we aren't um, fighting these issues alone, they're, they're intertwined together almost to the point where we can't untangle them. The Trafficking Victims Protection Act was established in the year 2000. This act are laws that are also tools to combat trafficking in persons, both worldwide and domestically.
When are they going to help us? Who's going to help us? How are they going to help us? Who's going to defend us?